Walk us through this fight, man. Uh, I was just went out there, trying to be a bit more relaxed than I normally am. I was feeling him out. He was moving his head well, wasn't there? And that jab, but he kind of rushed forward when I got the clinch. And my base was wrestling, so I was happy to take him down. He kept working back up, but <coughs> kind of giving me good positions to just take him back down until I got uh, half guard, <coughs> which I'd watched in his other fights. He's happy to settle in half guard, and that's my favorite place to work. Do you feel him fading away in that, at the end of that first round? Uh, I didn't feel him fading, but my corner thought he was. I uh, felt like I was controlling him, landing some good shots to the body, a few shots to the head, but I think I kind of zapped him from his energy. And then I was happy to just go back to my striking uh, in the second round, and he was kind of rushing forward, and that's when I landed that uppercut. One last question. Uh, in your boxing, how active do you want to stay in boxing and mixed martial arts? Uh, I just did boxing. My last fight was boxing just because COVID kept cancelling my uh, my MMA fights, but <clears throat> I fought one of like a former Australian champ uh, and a two-time state champion, and the first person to finish him. Um, and I actually got quite a few offers after that for boxing, but then I signed PFL, so my heart's with MMA. But if there's no MMA fights, I'm happy to box. Hey Rob, congratulations. Um, do you feel like that was the PFL debut that uh, you, you were looking for? Uh, I definitely wanted to finish. It probably sums up me as a fighter pretty well, that, that fight. So it was a good a good debut, yes. I wanted to move, uh, talk about your move, move to a light heavyweight. You, you moved to the, there in 2019. What was the decision to move up? Uh, mainly after the release from the UFC, I was cutting a lot of weight. Uh, I didn't feel myself in my last MMA fight in the UFC at middleweight. And um, <clears throat> I took some time off after the release and I decided I had a few kickboxing fights at light heavyweight, which was 95 kilos and I decided it was much more comfortable for me. I was enjoying fighting a lot more, not stressing about the weight cut and killing myself like a week or two before. And the main thing was performing better, so I don't know, I can eat a bit more chocolate. Than <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, and then finally, man, this is, uh, I guess, talk about how frustrating it was to not get really getting fights during, during the pandemic and just how that kind of slowed down your career and then how, you know, you, you got a fight in 2021 and then you kind of started, started your career again? Uh, obviously, like everyone, it was frustrating. <clears throat> Being in Tasmania was pretty pretty good, though. We had a six-week lockdown, and apart from that, we were fine. We didn't even get COVID until this year, uh, when we opened up the borders to everyone, and then it kind of spread around. Our gym got it a few months ago. Um, but apart from this year, we haven't had COVID down there, so we've just been getting on. Uh, and I've just been focusing. I knew my time would come. I knew I'd just keep sticking with it, taking the fights I could, and keep working and improving. Uh, myself, so until I got the shot on a big promotion like AFL, I was ready. Is there uh, one name that you would like to fight next? Uh, not really, I haven't really looked. Honestly, some, someone else asked me that if I've been looking at the other fighters, there's 10 of them. I have one fight, I don't know who I'm going to fight next, so there's no point worrying about who's next. Um, whoever they give me, I'm happy with here. Thank you. Hey Rob, five points has massive implications moving forward with the PFL season structure. How do you feel about already starting so strong and getting five points in the back? Oh, it feels good. It feels good to get a, a win on the big stage and on the world stage. You know, I lost my first two UFC fights against you know tough opponents and whatever else was going on with me at the time. So it was good to be able to actually prove myself and you know this is where I belong and I'm I'm an elite level fighter and deserve to be fighting the best in the world. Last for me, the trademark stash. I'm curious where that came from. Was there any specific idea to, to cut it and make it that one longer? Nah, my mate Cam, top fur here, and he just asked if I want to do Movember one time. <laughs> I did Movember, and I liked it, and I kind of yeah. kept it ever since. Hey, it looks good. Yeah, hey, Ross. Can't hate to that, so I can't hate to that. Stellar performance. Ever since your fight with Adesanya, now you're on a six fight win streak. You <coughs> went over to boxing and kickboxing. You've been doing killer. You're, I would say you're now a complete mixed martial artist. You're no longer just a wrestler, really, with some you know, good boxing to back it up. But uh, where would you say you're at in your career right now? And would you consider yourself a complete martial artist? Yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, you know, fighting Israel was obviously extremely hard, losing and getting cut from the UFC, especially when from ever since I started, my goal was to be you know, in the UFC. And it came around, I was 11 and 0, kind of just was like cruising through, got there, boom, like six months later I was out, so it was devastating. Um, but definitely made me a better fighter. I grew from that, I learned from that, I've trained with Izzy. Um, and just fighting, I think, like one of the best fighters in the world, kind of gives you that experience. 
I was definitely a beginner, um, beginner at striking when I was in the UFC. I'd only really had a good striking coach for about a year or so before. Strong wrestler though. Yeah, strong wrestler. But now I feel very well rounded. I'm happily going to be knocking people out on the feet just like tonight. <laughs> and last for me, um, do you prefer the PFL format of point systems? Do you feel like it provides more incentives and do you think that's a, a, a healthier way to go about the sport of MMA? I love the fact that I know I've got another fight in eight weeks. Um, mm -hmm. Don't have to wait around and not know or blow out and eat a bunch of junk. Not food be a big fight. enough name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I love, this, <laughs> I love the fact that you win and you can move forward. Yeah. Three more fights and I'm a world champion. I don't have to talk heaps of shit. I don't have to have a huge Instagram following. Uh, any of that stuff, you know. If, if you're a good fighter, you progress, which I love. Yeah. Good luck, brother. Wish you the best of $9 million. Dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Rob, 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 knowing that you have you know, that structure with the schedule, does that change how you prepare for these fights going forward? Uh, I mean, it means you won't uh, have to blow out too much, but obviously one thing is like making sure you're ready for the whole six months and not like burning out with training. You know, So I will have a little bit of time off now mentally to recover, um, and then I'll get back into it. Obviously, I'm fit and in fight shape, so I don't have to like you know, smash yourself trying to get fight ready. You just have to keep progressing in your skills, working game plan for whoever I've got next. So it must feel great to go out there and not have any injuries or anything mm -hmm. like that and be ready to go right to the next. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, um, Rob, your last two fights are at 205. Obviously, you're in the light heavyweight division this season. Is there any plans in the future of maybe going down to middleweight, or are you staying at 205 and up from now on? Uh, staying at 205. Okay. Yeah. Um, another question, um, <coughs> top two pound for pound scariest Australian animals? Animals? Yeah. Uh, Tasmanian devil. Okay. And Chris Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it. All right. Good, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.